My name is Dolphin M. Morton. I am the housing director at Operation Restoration. When I first got into this whole criminal justice reform thing, right, there were many rooms that I sat in and no one was talking about women who were incarcerated. Sarita has worked diligently with Cut 50 around uh, dignity for incarcerated women on a federal level, uh, the First Step Act. They're now working on other legislation. But, and what I do, even with, with this, the Day of Empathy, you know, the last three years we've worked with Cut 50, uh, and it's just been a good relationship. I'm just glad that, you know, we have an ally on that level that's working with us to get some things done. Operation Restoration uh, is a or nonprofit organization that focuses on currently and formerly incarcerated women. And the mission is to remove as many barriers as we possibly can for women once they're released back into society. It's run by women, and 90% of the women are formerly incarcerated. When we're interacting with these clients, like, there is no judgment. And the women feel that. We created a safe space to say, what you share here will stay right here. And whatever the need is to get you from that space, we're going to do our best to get you from that space with your help. The feedback from the clients is actually why we have so many programs. We don't just focus on that one thing. We focus on the whole person. I was excited. I was feeling hopeful. You know, like for a new start, a new beginning. You know, because you don't find that too much, like people that are just like you or trying to help you be a better person. My name is Shaquisa Crosby. I'm originally from Franklinton, Louisiana. I'm 29 years old. I was in jail for seven and a half years for attempted second degree murder. And I really didn't have anywhere to go. And I wanted to start over, you know, so I figured that Operation Restoration would be a good place for me to start over. I actually reached out to Ms. Dolphinette before I got out of prison, like a couple months before. And the day I got out, I went straight there. We have uh, Operation Housing, which we're sitting in Hope House NOLA right now, uh, where women transitioning, they can e either come from straight from prison here or from the community here. This is a five-bedroom house uh, with lighted, nice colored scheme bedrooms, big pool out in the yard, uh, where women can come here and have a safe space to sleep at night while working on those things that has kept them uh, you know, in trauma. They gave you a safe place, you know, to call home, you know, for the time being, but right now it is home. They don't judge you. They don't, none of that. It's like they whatever you need, they're willing to help. And that's what stands out the most, their, their willingness. They gave me hope, they did. They gave me hope to be a better person. They gave me hope to actually go out there and be able to do things that I never thought I would be able to do. We want women that come here because it's a transition house. That means you're gonna come here. We're gonna try to give you all the things that you need as far as tools to succeed. And success is whatever you see success is. They've helped me with housing. They've helped me find a job. They helped me enroll in school. I'm going back to school for billing and coding. They help like pretty much like your basic needs, like the things that you're gonna need for when you get out of prison. Before, I feel like I was just surviving. So now I wanna live. Like that's what's next, just to live my best life. Live and be the best person that I know I can be. And the women come here and they leave here knowing this is what you deserve. This is how you deserve to live. Doesn't matter what you were in prison for. Doesn't matter how many times you were in prison. This is what you deserve. I went to jail when I was 20. So I felt like I lost all of that. 
So the years that I do have left, I want to do what's best for me and what's right for me. And I just, I have nieces. I want to show them that you can be a good woman. You can be a better person. It's an amazing organization because you never know what other women are going through and you never know what other women are facing. We have several programs that we run within the organization. One most importantly being education. We have uh, what we call the women's clinic where women can come uh, and, and study for their high set. Uh, once our education department feel that they're ready, we will pay for that high set testing. First time that I served my sentence of 18 months, in 2013 and I started my GED program and I was getting ready to test but I got transferred and so when I got out in 2014 I tried to pursue getting my GED with no uh, great results then I had to go back to prison and I did 22 months and again I didn't finish so this time when I got out I was introduced to Operation Restoration by a sister named Dolphinette. And um, she told me, she said, make sure you call these people and whatever your needs are, you explain it to them and they can see how they can help. So I was excited about that and I did follow through with that. And um, it's been a blessing. My name is Sandy Parkman. I am the age of 66. I am uh, from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I have did a total of four years in federal prison. And I'm enjoying what I'm doing is at the OR. I have not missed a day of school. <laughs> I'm devoted to this. I waited so long to get this GD right. I am making it my business and a sound decision to be valedictorian. I'm really enjoying that because that was the crack for me. And so I'm learning how to do decimals. I'm learning algebra. I'm learning geometry. I'm learning these things that I was afraid of all the time ago. I have grandkids and I have great grandkids and they are from three to nine. So learning what I'm learning, those nine year olds and those 10 years old, and I said, what you doing with that? That's the one I'm writing. I said, ooh, I can help you with that, right? And this is what Operation Restoration has offered me so that my grandkids will never fall through the crack when it comes to education. Through the social services department, any client that comes through that door will be given a life coach. We have touched women who were literally sleeping under the bridge. And how we came in contact with those women was that, you know, when we had like a day that we went, when we went fed the women, right? And, you know, spoke with some of the women and, and offered them to come over to our office when they were ready. Uh, and lo and behold, some of those women showed up. Hi, my name is Sandra Lawson Rentrose. I'm from New Orleans. I just came home from one time. I did seven and a half years. My husband came home at, um, at 20, and we, we ran it so hard time. We were staying under the bridge. And so one day, these ladies came out, and they was passing food out. And when she got to me and my husband, and I didn't have a phone, and I was telling her about that, she told me to come to the, the search the next day. The next day, they had the phone and everything for me. We'll get a client to come through the door, and initially, they may say, well, I need help with my light bill. But as, as the case managers sit and talk with that lady, there's a whole lot of needs there. I was telling them about 
I wanted to get off the street. I was tired of being on the street. She took my information, she did. <laughs> and like three days after that, she said, I'm sending an Uber over to pick y'all up to bring y'all to the hotel. They got us, they got us off the street. I grown to love them. When I called and I asked and I need something, they there for me, they, if they can do it, they do it. I also love my caseworker, Jody Lambert, because she's there for me through, through everything, everything. She became my best friend. People quickly talk about second chances, but for me, I have 10 felony convictions. I've been to prison four times. My second chance been up. I needed another chance. And Operation Restoration understands that people need another chance. And what we tend to do a lot, I know I do, you know, I've been told a lot of times, you just tell all of it. I'm, I have to tell it all. Because I need women to understand that's not just your story. I have been there. I have sat in that exact same sh seat that you're sitting in. I have walked in those exact same shoes that you're walking in. And if God did this for me, he would definitely do it for you. Everything is just perfect right there. It's like a new sister. It's like a friend or a relative that I've never met before. So that piece right there alone is awesome. It's a sisterhood, like no color, none of that. No matter where you've been, where you come from, none of that matters to them. Like, they just love you. And you can tell, like by their actions, what they say to you, they're there. We understand that some people need more hand-holding than others. But we also understand that it all begins within you. We'll walk with you as far as you want to walk, before the formerly, before the currently. I'm human first.